so so in this chapter, what he wants to do really is not, even though it's called foundational faith, he wants to talk about how uh, the relationship between faith and facts. And so that's what he really focuses in on here. He talks a lot about facts and that sort of thing. So the importance of facts is the next section right. that he gets into here. And he says, think of the faith known as evolution <laughs> from how the cosmos came into existence, how inorganic material became organic to the unguided incremental changes in species over time that become us and everything else. Right. And he says, you know, think about that. Right. He says, people have have um, hold tenaciously to the theory of evolution and you're thinking uh, isn't this theory walking around in its underwear or worse right uh, the, the king has no clothes right. he says you expect me to believe this this is what we're thinking when we first hear that something came from nothing or life came from non-life or you know inorganic uh, caused, I mean, organic, you know, inorganic type of issues. Right. The, the princess kissing the frog. When when, when yeah. it happens in the fairy tales, it's it's a fairy tale. Uh, but when you throw in millions of years and millions of kisses, then you one say, of those oh, times yeah, the, that yeah. frog's going to turn into the prince. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and so you expect me to believe this, he says. Uh, you want me to believe that inorganic material spontaneously became organic, that life came from non-life? I'm sorry, but if you want me to take that on faith, then you're really asking me to do uh, what you claim Christians do all the time. Right. right. And so he's kind of chiding the evolutionists in this particular yeah. vein. Right? Yeah. And, and uh, I, I've uh, like mentioned this, this uh, video. Um, and so I had to uh, write it down as, and I've mentioned it in other episodes before, but Stephen Myers, who's uh, written things like signature of the cell. And uh, he's very uh, uh, critical of, of, um, of evolution, Darwinian evolution. Um, he uh, would uh, get together with David Berlinski and David Berlinski is not at all a Christian. He's not a believer in God. He is just hip, uh, uh, hyper critical of uh, evolution and how it, it, it uh, falsifies science and, and, and doesn't uh, uh, get, get people where they need to go. And so he's very critical of that. Uh, they, um, they, they were in a talk with uh, David uh, Gelertner, uh, who I believe he was a computer pro, uh, modeler for, mm. for science. And, mm -hmm. and they had just a fascinating discussion on on uh, listening to all these things stack up against evolution and, and coming to see, well, you might not believe in, in, um, in creationism or, uh, 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 you know, divine guidance, uh, uh, intelligent design, uh, but we need to address uh, the, the um, issues that, uh, Darwinian evolution has. And so, again, when we come up to things with this historical understanding, which uh, both Christianity and, and Darwinism presents uh, a, a historical uh, science model. So we're not, we're not saying, oh, here's the Petri dish and we're, we're you know, uh, watching amoeba split by dropping more uh, water particles in it or, or whatever we do there. Uh, but we're talking about things that you have to just say, okay, over millions of years and does the model come up with this? And then uh, oh, all these behaviors happened because uh, th there were uh, cougars in the, in the in the high grass, and so uh, we like to be scared because uh, being scared was a survival mechanism, and so uh, that uh, that somehow ingrains itself into the DNA because only that DNA survived and has this this uh, um, uh, DNA memory that uh, some, somehow uh, goes with the entirety of the species and survives. Well, all these things seem to have issues, and, and this uh, video offers a kind of a good glance of uh, watching people take these facts and then change their worldview. And what Bonson is going to say here is it's very hard for people to do that. In fact, why don't we see a collection of facts overturning at some point, it, it right. seems like people are holding on to these worldviews, um, these presuppositions, these, these well, ways of viewing the world. And, yeah. and they don't, even though there may be facts contrary to that, they don't want to let right. go of how they and, view and, it. And, and, and that's perfect for showing why is that hard? Because that's your base assumption of, of how you approach things. And so, of course, that's going to be the hardest thing to do. In yeah. fact, it might take a supernatural uh, <laughs> deity to overturn that and change it. Uh, 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 opposite of even what we may want. Yeah, you might have to be, you know, born again. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah.